Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a new demo of NVIDIA's latest mobile technology. Uh, and what we call this is Direct Touch. In a nutshell, what Direct Touch does is improve touch performance and then also reduces power. And the way we do that is offloading some of the touch processing from the dedicated touch components on a typical tablet onto Tegra 3. So let me show you how this works. First, we have a Zoom 1 here running Honeycomb. It's running a, uh, an app that we use that just measures touch in general. And what I'm going to show you at first is really just a single touch. So you can see a single touch event, one touch, and the number, what we're really going to be looking at is the number of touch samples per second. And as you can see, I'm adding more touches on this first Zoom 1 here. The number of touch samples per second recorded starts to go down. And what this will eventually run into is about 60 to 70 touch samples per second when we're doing 10 fingers. So it's not quite keeping up. You can also see little circles underneath my fingers. It's not quite keeping up with the, uh, with the number of touches it really knows, needs to do. And this is uh, going to affect games and overall user experience. So now let me show you what direct touch looks like. So I'm going to move over here to Tegra 3. And uh, I'm going to start again with one finger. And what you can see with one finger is about 200 samples per second. This is direct touch at work. So we're already about 2x, and it'll end up being about 3x as we increase the number of fingers. So as we go to two, it really stays steady. Two fingers, three fingers, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're actually jumping down here, but it'll go back up because as I move faster, we'll go to about 200 touches per second. And again, that's direct touch. Um, this will benefit anything from gaming to overall user experience. You can imagine your Fruit Ninja scores are really just going to rock. And then the other benefit of direct touch is power, right? So we're offloading a lot of this performance and, and processing onto Tegra. And we're removing some of the components and some of the power that's being sucked up in a, in a standard device. So that's direct touch. We improve the overall touch performance uh, as well as reduce power uh, for an overall better user experience.